great to see you all here. And thanks very much for making the, making the trip. Um, just to um, introduce what we do, I'd just like to show a few slides, just to describe it. And you see you get email too. So let's switch that off. Um, and that will, that will at least suppress that for the next five minutes or so. Um, a little bit about the centre, people. Um, one of the main purposes of this day is to do a bit of marriage broking between companies and our students and ourselves um, for projects, both short projects that students do in the first year of their, uh, of their course and also uh, PhD projects. And so uh, that's a key thing. We have many industry linked projects already. You'll see examples of projects this afternoon. Um, uh, but they all start from a conversation, so that's one of the reasons we're here this morning. Uh, and uh, finally, the agenda and conclusion. So what we wanted to do when we set up the centre was to actually move photonics a little bit from the detailed research into particular components to actually thinking about photonics in the context of its applications in systems because uh, lasers are extremely important but they're important if they fit into systems and enable us to do things that we want to do uh, whether it be a DVD player or a long-haul optical communication system. So uh, unusually um, our Centre for Doctoral Training includes uh, skills from fields ranging from uh, software through electronics, photonics, um, and indeed um, studies of the applications of technology. And we think that makes for better research. The other thing that's unusual is this is a joint centre between University of Cambridge and UCL. Um, and roughly speaking, half of the students are registered at each university, but although uh, the students may have registrations uh, for their formal degree at one university or the other, we operate the centre as a single centre with a single course. So students um, registered at Cambridge come to UCL and take courses here. Students from UCL take courses at Cambridge. And there is a lot of interaction to and fro in the PhD research stage also. And so we support the students at, at both, uh, at both um, ends of the uh, rapid railway line in between here and Cambridge. Uh, the centre was uh, uh, founded with EPSRC support um, and with an initial intake of 10 students per year funded by EPSERC to which we add students funded from other sources. Uh, in the first year uh, there is a wide range of uh, taught courses and two short projects uh, which contribute a lot to making PhDs uh, run more quickly and more efficiently, and the PhD is the second to fourth year uh, stage. So, uh, I'm Alwyn Seeds, I'm the um, uh, director of the centre. Um, uh, Professor Ian White, Cambridge's director of research strategy. Uh, with us today, um, the programme and centre manager, Richard Penty, sitting on my, on my, um, on my right and uh, Assistant Director Cyril Renault here on my left. We have a very large number of PhD student supervisors and others involved uh, with the Centre from the academics. This is the uh, research group leaders list and you'll see it spans from nanotechnology through uh, electrical engineering, materials, bio biotechnology, computers, uh, computer laboratory and indeed environment. So uh, a very wide subject base. And then within those groups, there are, of course, many more supervisors. And I think when we did a trawl for potential supervisors, in fact, there are roughly, uh, roughly 90 potential supervisors across the two institutions. So uh, uh, plenty to uh, uh, provide what we need. We also have a lot of collaborating companies. Some of them are listed there, um, who are supporting both joint projects and, indeed, centre students. Uh, and uh, that's a list that we always like to grow. If you're not already on it, we'll hope to add you. Um, 
And just a, a little thing, I'm sorry for the rather uh, faint colours, but um, just to indicate the um, strength of applications, uh, this, um, this column up here is the number of applications that we start from, and this is the fining process, shortlisted studentship enrolled, uh, that follows. Uh, our students, uh, sparing their blushes, are exceptionally good students uh, with extremely high marks in their first degree, uh, and uh, many of them already come to us, uh, come to us already uh, with a master's degree, uh, and I think almost all of those have been with uh, distinction. So, uh, uh, very good students. And um, I'll just uh, click this one through. These are the things that happen in the, uh, in the first year. As I said, because of the systems aspect, uh, we want to introduce uh, students to topics. You see photonics, the red dot there, but there are a lot of other things around it uh, to enrich the experience. And importantly for um, an initial level of collaboration, there are two projects within this first year, short projects in particular uh, areas. And this is just to give a flavour of some of the things that the students learn in their first year, from digital filters to uh, uh, building a router to uh, image processing, as well as solar electrical power and photonics. And an equally wide range uh, in the second term also. So we have some rules about projects. Uh, first of all, um, if you want to know more about us generally, that's the website address. And secondly, um, all of our short projects include some sort of systems context. So there is always a context to the work that our students do. And we like our students to actually work on projects in different places during their first year. Uh, two out of the three possibilities, Cambridge an at an industrial partner or UCL. Um, Cyril Renault this afternoon will talk more about the practicalities of getting involved with projects, but uh, we are looking for mini project proposals at the moment and uh, also proposals for PhD um, towards the end of March. So there's some thinking time, but the process is underway. And uh, uh, Tim Bodley-Scott, with whom many of you will have been in touch, our centre administrator, who's there on my left, uh, is the person uh, to send proposals to. We vet all proposals through the Research Strategy Committee for fit to what we do, and uh, then uh, they're made available to supervisors and students. And these are the selection dates uh, uh, for the students.